So now what are you what, what are you most looking forward to? I mean, there's there's, a, you know, I mean, pretty much the nature of this show is that every match on the main show is a significant major match. I mean, there's no <laughs> filler or there's no there's no there's no filler whatsoever. I mean, you know, it's, it's either a title match or it's it's a, it's a singles match with top guys with a nice story with with, with the storyline build. I'm looking for the one match that I'm looking forward to seeing the most to get to call is Shingo and Jeff Cobb uh, mm -hmm. at, I, because of just the physicality and how those guys click in the ring. I think that is going to be really special. My overall feeling for this year's Wrestle Kingdom is not so much of uh, 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 an exclamation point on 2020, but rather the launch of 2021. We're going to know where guys stand. I think more after this show than anything else, like evil and Sonata has the, you know, if Sonata doesn't win, then he falls way down in the title hunt in the title picture. And it's just more of the same with evil uh, with Okada and Osprey, you know, you can see Osprey winning and then maybe they're paired up again at new Japan cup. I don't know, but there's so much that, goes forward and where Tanahashi stands with his, the condition of his knee. And if he doesn't come out victorious, does somebody have the tough conversation with him about, Hey, you need to get this fixed before you carry on because what, what you're doing isn't working. Of course, if he wins, then it just prolongs the inevitable, but <laughs> th those types of things and, and where things stand with, you know, of course the, the double titles and who comes out on top, you know, the, of course, just the way things are set up, you say, oh, Jay White is the obvious favorite, but it doesn't always work out that way. And we'll see, you know, who comes out on top at the end of the night. When, um, when, when it comes to like Okada and Osprey, I mean, it's, what's interesting to me is I've seen them wrestle actually many times, you know, from the first one in England to three or four times in, in New Japan that have all been great but this one is a completely different dynamic because in the last one it was really the same type of matches you would expect except for the finish when they did essentially the turn the match itself right. was the same okada osprey you usually would get now this one it's a completely different dynamic in the sense that it's not going to be the high flying will osprey doing a whole bunch of spectacular moves i'm sure he'll do i'm sure he will do his spectacular moves but it's a it's a heel face match where where the other ones none of them were heel face matches it, it and with I look at it more from like Okada, who really took after the New Japan Cup, he really took the rest of 2020 off. Yeah. Uh, you know, he wasn't in much of significance. And I think that his body is completely rested. His mind is completely rested. And if Osprey doesn't win, it, it's more like if you don't win, then what? If if Okada doesn't win, then then what? Where does where does he go? He's obviously always got you know, his title pedigree to be able to say, I'm, I'm getting serious now and I'm going to win the new Japan cup. If Osprey doesn't win, then it's like, what was, what was the whole point of the turn? So, uh, I think that it's important for, uh, for both guys to really, you know, kind of show up and, and show out and we'll see how Osprey wrestles in a big singles match with this, you know, new attitude and, and how he adjusts his style. I've seen little bits of it in the tag matches, but I'm really interested to see how this all plays out. As far as, um, so we've got Naito Ibushi on night one, winner facing Jay White on night two. It's an intriguing thing because the storyline is just that Jay White is not wrestling on night one, so he comes in rested. Mm -hmm. The other two guys are going to have a, a brutal match and then come back. So, that I, I guess that's the way that you kind of call the the story, right? That's that's it right there. Um, it was, you know, when Jay said, I'm going to take the first night off because he wanted to close Wrestle Kingdom and be the he also I, I think, you know, from Jay White's point of view, I think he probably worried if he won on night one, they might say, oh, well, you get to face uh, Ibushi on night two, you know, after you screwed him over at the uh, power struggle or something like that. So he. He made sure that his bed was made and he would be the one getting the double title shot at the end of Wrestle Kingdom night two. 
And, and then Naito, of course, does the Naito thing and says, oh, I want a, a bigger challenge. So I'm going to wrestle Ibushi. And, and uh, Ibushi was all for it. So I think it's 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 very, um, you know, and, and that's why I've said, you know, from the standpoint, like, well, Jay White has to be the, the enormous favorite because he's he'll be rested after night one. So uh, and with Ibushi and Naito, I don't know if it's going to be the same match that they've had before because both guys really, really, especially Naito, really wrestled during the G1. And I don't think he got enough credit for the way he slowed down, the way he worked on his opponent's neck. Uh, he minimized his wrists. And therefore, at the end, he was still pretty strong. He didn't get to the finals, but he wasn't destroyed when he got there, you know, on the last night. But that's where it what what comes out. Does does Ibushi and Naito go back and and try to kill each other with the tremendous falls on their necks or do they wrestle and try to prove who's the better wrestler? Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio. We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.